Hello there, and welcome to Stars on Friday. My name's Fred Yates, and as it's Christmas time, we thought we'd like to tell you a little Christmas story. Really, it's the story of Cinderella, but we do it rather differently, and we'll call it the story of Rindy Seller. Now, our story opens where Rindy Seller's sitting by the fire, eyeing her cries out. Why was she eyeing her cries out? Well, she was sucking thick, because, you see, the sugliest is a dist puff to the ball. And Rindy Seller said, Juk me fently. She says, What the hooking fell am I going to do? I know what I'll do. I'll just get me kildo out of the dubbard. So she just went to get her kildo out of the dubbard, and there was a dock on the gnaw. And she said, Who the hooking fell is it? He says, It's buttons. Well, she says, Get your hooking fast in here. So he came. <laughs> Here we are in Kelso, in the heart of Roxburghshire, the centre of David Steele, the Liberal leader's constituency. And with the autumn election coming up and the Jeremy Thorpe affair very much in everybody's mind, the reason we've come here, of course, is to ask Mr Steele what he thinks of Carlisle United's chances in the third division this year. Bollocks! What's the situation as you see it at this moment? You'd have to explain that. I don't understand. Oh, Jesus, are you kidding? Bollocks to you at all! Bollocks! I hope you fall down and break your bleeding neck! Oh! <laughs> cuts them right down. Who's the friendliest shop in town? Cumbrian Co-op. Cash in this week with money-saving vouchers. For every £100 spent on furniture and carpets, there's a £20 voucher to spend on drapery and family fashions. When you purchase this Tootle Warwick three-piece suite, £299, we'll give you a £40 voucher. And I'm wasting my time, so knickers to you. If, on the other hand, you come in broke, well, piss off. What right are you to come into the Cumbria Co-op expecting us to give you a bloody thing? Now, as they say, for something completely different. Dick Wharton is convinced that Durox could go a long way to providing an answer to many present-day breeding problems. So come, you know, say a bit of sense, like, and come round and talk, and, like, you know, at the moment, like, it hasn't been doing at all, like, the relations between us and our men's like, is getting to be very strained at the moment, like. Bollocks! Bollocks to you at all, fat sod! Bollocks! And did you have a cock in his mouth? A cock in his mouth. Oh. Finally, you would say that the striking journalists are not really a bunch of wankers. Finally, I would say that. 